to, to read. Today, the Human Rights Council met to diffuse a human rights tragedy, one unfolding before our very eyes in Burundi. We, the international community, already know the terrible acts of violence that have taken the lives of hundreds of men, women, and children in Burundi since April. In the past few days, scores of people were killed, many reportedly victims of extrajudicial killings, shot with their hands tied behind their backs. We also know that as violence has increased, hundreds of thousands more have already fled the country this year and continue to flee. In the region, we, we've, we have seen spiraling violence and where divisive and, and hateful rhetoric can lead. What kind of government says of its own citizens that they should be pulverized or that they are only good for dying? Today, the Human Rights Council accepted a resolution to avert the escalation and expansion of the killing in Burundi. Today's special session is an attempt to prevent, and that's a key word, prevent mass atrocities by focusing attention and providing expert assistance in the region before it is too late. The United States believes the engagement of the Human Rights Council can contribute a solution to the crisis, to the solution to the crisis. The Human Rights Council is not working alone, of course. Today's efforts follow on the important September resolution on Burundi led by the European Union in Geneva and the crucial efforts of the African Union uh, and the Security Council. On behalf of the United States, I want to personally thank the Commissioner uh, and the, of the African Union who was pres present here today and for the African Union's absolutely essential role that it has played and continues to play. The Peace and Security Commission's November 13th decision, the deployment of human rights observers uh, by the African Union, the UN Security Council Resolution 2248 passed in December, call on the government of Burundi to protect human rights and cooperate with regional African mediators to convene immediately for an inclusive and genuine uh, internationally mediated dialogue. We salute the EU and the African R Union for their leadership responses to the Burundi crisis. We, the United States, believe that today's special session of the Human Rights Council sends a powerful warning signal to those on all sides who commit human rights abuses and violations. We continue to support efforts to hold human rights violators and abusers accountable for their actions, including those who seek to undermine stability in Burundi. We reiterate our readiness to pursue additional sanctions against individuals responsible. The resolution was adopted today reminds Burundi, uh, reminds Burundi as an incoming member of the Human Rights Council as of January 1st, 2016 of its human rights obligations and commitments. Members of the Council must uphold the highest standards in the promotion and protection of human rights. While it is the authority of the General Assembly to confer or revoke membership in the Council, we underscore that membership to the Council comes with obligations, and we hope Burundi will live up to those obligations. Burundi, its neighbors, the East African community, the African Union, and the United Nations all have a role to play in trying to stop the crisis and restart political dialogue. It is essential that the United Nations premier human rights institution, the Human Rights Council, disclose, disclose the human rights abuses in Burundi. The Office of the High Commissioner must organize and rapidly deploy a team of independent experts to investigate human rights violations and abuses and make recommendations to employ uh, uh, remedies to the human rights abuses and restart the reconciliation process in Burundi. In this regard, we want to thank all the delegations that co-sponsored the call for this urgent special session and note that the support included states from all regions of the globe. Our 17 original co-sponsored members included Albania, Argentina, El Salvador, Estonia, France, Germany, Ghana, Ireland, Japan, Latvia, Mexico, Montenegro, the Netherlands, Portugal, the Republic of Korea, Macedonia, and the United Kingdom. We were joined in the calling of the special session by 25 additional observer states of the Human Rights Council, and I expect more states will sign on to the resolution in the coming days. I now turn over the microphone uh, to somebody who's worked very closely on this matter um, and whose leadership uh, has been demonstrated time and again, uh, Ambassador Peter Sorensen.
Ambassador Harbour, dear Keith, thank you very much for the kind words. I don't have a set statement because uh, you have said what there is to say about today's statement or today's uh, session. But let me just add a couple of uh, personal comments. I'm very happy that what we've seen today is the continuation of what was started in uh, September uh, with the Council's focus on the situation in Burundi. You will know that we as the European Union, we have been engaged with the situation in Burundi for the past year, or even before that. But for the past year, if you have followed our statements, if you have followed our activities, you will know that this issue is very high on our agenda. Today's, uh, today's uh, session with the resolution that was adopted, um, we now have a powerful tool. It's the strongest, I believe, and the quickest uh, mechanisms that can be deployed looking at uh, all violations, all perpetrators um, in, a, in a manner that will be swift, in a manner that will be effective, and in a manner that uh, will be uh, to good use for trying to help, namely what we want to achieve, namely a political process, uh, inclusive one, that will overcome the uh, problems that we see in Burundi uh, these days. So um, we do that. We stand behind, firmly behind the African Union and the uh, East African communities uh, led mediation that is happening. Um, as you will see, our activities has been a, an activities of support of uh, these, uh, the regional handling of this, this issue. And we hope very much that uh, these efforts that we have done today, that the efforts we will do in the future will be uh, of put to good use um, in achieving a solution very, very quickly.